Hey, Christine, I'm going to take you on a tour of my strings facility. There's my bulletin board. Workers for strings. I'm going to come into my room. Orchestra makes you smarter. And when we come in, we have a little bulletin board where I can put some information or some things that are missing. And people set their water bottles here when they come in the class. And then we have lots of equipment stored. We kind of try to make room or make use of every inch in this classroom. Um, the projector projects on the wall in between our keys of excellence and our character beliefs and some music things. So I have mirrors on the wall so that I'm able to demonstrate to my students while we play along together. Um, music stands arranged with pencil holders on them so that the students have what they need at all times, hopefully. Um, storage right as we walked in, there's storage for cellos and some of our trophies. A nice message to the students that they're valuable believe in themselves. There we go. Lots of chairs. More storage. There really is not more storage. This is where they get to put their music binders and books and books to borrow if they need to. Chill a rack. Back here is some more. There's our lockdown space. Instrument storage. Instrument storage for our elementary students is on the back side here. They have to bring their instruments to school only on days that they have class, but the middle schoolers are able to leave it here because they have class every day. They can also take them home to do extra practice. And then my desk area is over here. The whiteboard is over here and more places to store things. These little blue things didn't work very solidly. I'm still trying to use them, but they weren't as amazing as I thought they would be. Um, so the room right now is set up for my largest middle school class of 35. And then when it's time for my fourth graders and fifth graders on Fridays to come together, I have to wheel out that music stand cart and put out all the chairs I have to move this cello rack out in the hallway to make room for more rows back in the back here to accommodate 50 students at a time. Um, and I teach up from the front, the front podium area. Hello. And there's my podium. <coughs> it's a stair step. <laughs> um, so there is no space in here for individual quiet time or small group rehearsals. Unfortunately, it's too noisy. The sound would not be conducive to do small things. So whenever I work a separate group at a time, I'll either give the other instruments who aren't having to play a job so that they can be tapping out a steady beat for the group that I am working on, um, trying to keep everyone engaged as best as possible at all times. So my view from the front is this. So I can see their eyeballs if they're well focused. And I also use the dry erase marker to write on my mirror and I tell them they have to kind of change the angle sometimes to see what's written up there as far as helpful reminders for them. So that's my classroom. I kind of love it. Um, however, we're opening a new building next year and I will have 10 more feet that way or five feet on each side. My desk will not be, well, I'll probably have my desk still in the new classroom, but all of the storage will be in a separate space. So I'll have a whole lot more flexibility, perhaps with room for small group work as well. I hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.